Hello, everyone, and welcome to VTVV Live. Um, it's coverage of the box tournament that took place at Face to Face Games. Uh, the two players uh, matching up against one another are myself, uh, Shane Rubin, on the left playing uh, Django Ballo Trooper, um, back when it was a little newer, uh, versus uh, Poe Ray, Elite Poe, Elite Ray, on the other side, and uh, Lanny, who is one of the very good players in our meta here and uh, very active. I see, I see him a lot at a lot of tournaments and played him a bunch of times now. And uh, he's printed his own very sweet mat uh, that has gotten a lot of... Uh, Jealous comments on stream uh, from some of uh, the people who've come out to watch. Uh, I'm Travis, uh, one of the folks behind VTTV, uh, and I helped uh, do coverage for this tournament. Um, but um, these, uh, this is kind of the beginning, I think. Before this, this was this was the first tournament where the Bala Django Trooper really kind yes. of took over the Toronto meta. There are a lot of players with that deck in this tournament. Yeah, I remember seeing it on the Knights of Ren Discord and then trying it out for a couple days. And then Tiny Grimes, I think it, the day before, posted his best best vit, best deck in the meta, question mark, or best right. deck ever. And he's kind of standard <laughs> verbally um, type things for his deck. And yes, I think it was represented a, a few times with a lot of other Django variants. There was a Django Trooper Trooper that day, some Django Veers. So rolling off for initiative here, I think uh, looks like Poe's uh, big sides kind of came in handy. So it's Lanny's choice. Lanny chooses to take his battlefield. He's playing the Emperor's Throne Room, which allows you, when you claim the battlefield, to turn one of your dice to its special side and use that ability immediately. Yeah. So he's going to play Hit and Run, which allows you, it's an ambush card that allows you to activate a red character. So he's activating uh, Poe right off the bat. And immediately going to use the um, the special side on Poe. Uh, looks like he's got a pulling out a black one here. Very nice, very strong start. Black one going to throw four damage at Django. It looks like, or maybe uh, only three, three damage. Three. It only has a three side. Why do I think it has a four? You're thinking Falcon, the Falcon days. Maybe, maybe I say I'm. Uh, and I thought about activating Django, um, but I have a yeah one of a few different upgrades I think I've got in hand that I would. Uh, I wanted to play on him before in the activation. I knew Ray was going to come up, so. And you can see that I was still feeling out this deck as I put it in my youth. <laughs> one of my bad habits of sometimes dithering out where the shields go, and I uh, split them up between Bala and Django, uh, the two targets. Uh, never on the trooper, but I couldn't decide which one he would go through first, so I kind of just dithered and put them on. Yeah, split them like that. So Lanny's rolling in Ray here. Uh, rolling in a resource side, and it looks like a plus two uh, melee. Uh, Django quickly reacts. Looks like three damage there. It's pretty solid damage. Um, seeing I don't have any money, I didn't want to see that uh, to the pay side. The Bala with a focus is not helping me right now, and no pluses, so it's not. But it's not too bad. The Bala roll was could have been worse. Looks like uh, your your looks like your Stormtrooper dice has gone missing. So yeah, but it's the Django handicap. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so just do the three damage to Ray. Ray claims a resource. I think uh, Lanny's playing, I think those are the Broken Egg tokens, mm -hmm. um, custom tokens, and playing with the uh, Alt Art Ray from the launch event uh, that a lot of stores ran. I think Victor got me my dice back. Yeah. So there, there's that two for pay side. I, but uh, Bala can come save the day and, and deliver that two if I want to kind of hurt the tempo uh, enough to get it out, which I probably do, especially... Seeing how Ray gets the force field. So the choice between Ray and Poe with the initial damage, I mean, you can certainly go either way. Poe is scary, especially with this battlefield. Um, so I, would, I didn't put a lot of thought into it at the time, but I'm giving it a few thoughts on which one to go with. But as far as I understand this deck and I've seen it mostly in the meta, Ray has all the upgrade ability in this deck. Right. Um, plus she has the you know, activation cheat out and stuff like that for the, with the holdup blaster. So it's usually. I go for her first. And the two less health is a, has some appeal to it as well. Yeah. So Shane takes a resource uh, with one of the Bala dice here. Uh, Lanny's probably deciding whether he wants to try to re-roll those dice. Well, I think he's, no he's, reason, he's thinking about know. claiming. I think he's just deciding which dice to, which card to throw away with. Yeah. The... Ugh. Well, pretty weak launch bay. I'm okay with that being the launch bay checkout. What did he do? Did he discard? What did he do with it? He did not do the discard. He uh, didn't do damage. So 
You can get resources. Oh, there's no resource. Oh, no, he did. Uh, yeah, you had a resource that he must have disrupted you. Disrupted me. Okay. Right. He disrupted me to save the two damage. Right. Which yeah. makes sense. Yeah. So then I popular hunker down on <laughs> Django to get some shields. It's a good delay. Um, Ray can chew through that eventually, but her melee potential is not high. As anyone no, who plays Ray learns yeah. rather quickly. It's frustratingly low. Field medic to which lets him heal uh, two damage off a character, so it takes two off Ray. And he's holding a dug in, yeah. So it's a good set of cards for him. Yeah. So Shane plays a, a, a dead pad on Bala, and Lanny responds with dug in on Poe. You can only play dug in if you have claimed. The, the battlefield is on your side, so he's able to do that after claiming the battlefield last turn. So he stalled for two actions, and I'm probably thinking of different ways I can stall <laughs> to not have to roll. Although rolling in battle, I think, might have been a better choice there. Uh, the shield wasn't absolutely necessary right now, and I could get utilize any pluses off Bala yeah. in the Django rule. So that was a bit of a misplay, I think, on my part. Uh, so resource, uh, disrupt, and the plus two uh, melee, it looks like, from Ray. Uh, not a great roll from Django there. Oh, Lanny's jumping the gun there. Mm -hmm. So I roll in the Bala now, which is not as helpful, but he does get me a, a plus two and some money, and not particularly helpful. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing much there. Lanny takes a resource. Although I'm happy to see the force, like force throw is one of the, is, is a big problem um, yeah. for a lot of decks and especially this one. I mean, cause your base damage can get thrown back at you, which is you know, not terrible. You use a force to flip your damage to blank. Mm -hmm. So if you, uh, you get to, do you have to spot a blue character yes. for use of force? So it's one resource, spot a blue character. No, it's sorry. Flip a blue dice. Flip a blue dice. No, no. no. Use the force. Yeah, you may not have to do anything. I don't. I don't know if there's. It might, might be a spot. Sorry, I'm trying to think of. I don't. It might not be spot at all. It just might be yeah. if you have it in your deck, you can use it. And you can set any dice to uh, any side, a single dice. Because you can use it on your own dice to. You can use it on your own, but I think I, I'll have to check it. I think it is blue. But you get the spot. Yeah. No, I think it's blue dice. Well, then you cheated. <laughs> I don't think it's blue. I'd have to double check. I'm not confident enough right now. But anyway, back to the game. So I did get some damage on the reroll off the discard. This looks like I got I came through with a uh, a very confusing way to put my dice back on different characters, but four four damage. Yes, uh, Chain is a favorite of the stream who get uh, a little <laughs> little OCD about some of his uh, exhausting and reading of his characters and some of the dice ending up on the wrong cards. Got some good damage out of Poe here. I don't think he's sitting on any resources because um, he used the one resource he took for the use the force. That's a good point. But yeah, I uh, still got three. Can't complain too much about that off a single dice. So where did he put the damage there? I took two shields off. Yeah. Oh, the two. Was the two? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, get, I suppose if he, uh, you must be thinking about maybe claiming. I'm thinking of a single, single die reroll, which, yeah, in retrospect, does seem like a bit of a mistake. Uh, well, he's going to be able to force throw that po dice at you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so hopefully I, past me, thinks of this and doesn't just go for one or two damage at best. But we shall see. Yeah, it's a difficult decision here, I guess. Harder than it should be for me, for past me. And I do it. Oh, I, he doesn't like you. Okay. Oh, okay. It's an interesting choice. I guess you were worried about the throne room. Well, I was worried. I mean, he could just, I mean, if I claim the throne room, he still can re-roll for Poe damage and Ray damage. I'm not claiming that uh, was the best decision. What? Probably just claiming might have been better, but. Did Lana just not do anything there? Yeah. Does Drone Room have to be character dice? Well, he, he claimed. He claimed after that. Does the Drone Room have to be character dice? No, no, it doesn't. No, it could be anything. But he didn't have anything left that was a yeah, valuable he special. He could have forced... He, yes, that's true. He could he have forced, forced through, through the ray die. He could have forced through the ray die for one damage. So he missed that. Okay. 
actually haven't been playing a ton of uh, Destiny and been mostly focused on kind of the channel and kind of doing video production. Mm-hmm. So uh, a little out of practice. Yeah. So board state wise, I have seven damage on Ray um, that I managed to pile up with the points, which is uh, yeah. quite good versus just two on Django with the hunker down still rolling. Um, Defensive stance here on Ray um, and field medic as well. Um, what? So he went to five from seven. Yeah, no, I, I'm just I don't know why he had he got to play two events there. Uh, let's see. So he had he had the I hunkered down in okay. between. Yeah. So I'm spreading out. that the I could follow. <laughs> I'm spreading around the upgrades. Again, future me doesn't necessarily agree with past me. I'm putting that on the stormtrooper. I think that might have been better on Bala because Bala wasn't in danger, and Bala is is possibly going to get uh, a reactivation in the next. Did two, you did two you turns? really just roll in your Bala dice off of Django? I was going to say your OCD just. Yeah, I did. Um, was <laughs> you usually weren't cheating? You just were <laughs> just, a just, l- just little being sloppy, sloppy sometimes. But yeah, um, I pretended he was a elite Bala b- Bango. All right, nothing happens in between, so it works out. <laughs> so, despite a strange ordering issue, no illegal game state. Uh, puts a little damage on to Django there with the from the put eye. So yeah, so the the bango combo is not showing a lot of great stuff. Um, at this point, the focus is about as good as it gets for me. Uh, Lanny rolls in Ray. He's got a, looks like a special on the force, force throw. throw yeah. And then uh, a disrupt and a shield and the other two... Di- oh, no, sorry, a melee and a shield. So I electroshock away the uh, force throw. He does the melee. That'll get rid of the hunker down on Django. So the hunker down you can exhaust to put a shield on the char- attached character. Um, but if it takes that character takes melee damage, the card is discarded. Yes, an excellent uh, one of the best upgrades. It it seems uh, it seems very underwhelming at first, zero cost, but you only get that one shield, and it goes away with the melee. But it it's a it's a guns meta, and it's it's, it's a, a lot meta. of shields for free. Yeah, I I think if the meta were a little bit different, uh, I think it would get discarded more often. And absolutely, yeah. And then card slot would be it'd be more of the card slot being questioned than the cost, but that it, it's it the only thing it does tend to slow you down a little bit. So in some two character lists, I'm not sure if it's it's worth losing your chance to get the battlefield, but certainly here where it's two characters versus three, and I'm not always getting the battlefield anyway, it's just a great upgrade. Well, the other thing when you're dealing with a two character list is it, it can sometimes you need that thought that slot for dice, mm-hmm. right? You can't really afford to have an upgrade on one of those characters that isn't going to be contributing a die. Yeah. And you have a, so I have um showing a lot of damage here. Uh, let's see, three, four, five without the focus. So Ray is at risk. I mean, if that focus can go off. So discard Ray. So on the hunt wipes the shield. So on the hunt is special. It will remove all shields from a character. Then you can spend a resource to remove a die from that character, right? Uh, yes, upgrade or character. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it has no resource from that player. Sorry, yeah. it has no resource side, which is the only downside. Otherwise, it's a great upgrade upgrade for one cost. It's even got the strange mixed damage, like it's made for Django. Uh, so yeah, so that that's uh, a pretty good value at this point in the game. So he hasn't played a deflect yet, which is definitely what I watching this game would be thinking about or worry about. I have enough base damage sides that it's actually not not that bad. Um, to flip the, uh, let's say, the probably, the what would I flip? Everything's showing damage. So you have five damage showing here. Yeah. So you have enough to kill Ray. I think Lanny is deliberating on whether there's anything he can do about it. Mm-hmm. And I don't know that he's coming up with an answer. Yeah, given that I... Can't I can I can flip the one to the plus two? No, it doesn't. Nothing. Nothing in that focus does anything for me. I don't think other than getting the stormtroopers to not cost money. 
Yeah, that, that's not really which really you know first world problems is not like <laughs> it's not like that bad of an outcome but uh no uh, you could focus the data pad um, to the special oh yeah it doesn't really it's already on a resource so sorry for for a second i was seeing the uh stormtrooper die being uh f11 mm -hmm. so you can flip one of those to more damage right but I don't think I can actually spread it because I need it all to kill. Like I can't. Um... Oh, right. So he removed one of my dice, so I had to then. And then it gives me enough to. It's still only four, right? Yeah, it's still only four. Yeah. So he his. Not enough to kill anymore. Yeah, his deflect uh, of the Stormtrooper dice is what? Save Ray. And then put that extra damage on Django. But then the backup muscle. Oh, I didn't see the backup muscle. Everyone's right. favorite card. Well, it just came out. It always comes out at the end, right? right? It's not one damage, it's two. It's always two, one at the end of one turn, one at the beginning of the next. Yes, yeah, so whenever you're two damage away, I just I dread the backup muscle from my opponent. Of course, so Bala's uh, ability is when an opposing character dies, he gets two ready. Mm -hmm. So that's why he was able to uh, roll Bala again this, okay. that turn. And quickly um, snag that resource. Yeah. I, think, I think I was out of cards for roll or didn't want to bother. Yeah, okay, Victor, uh, making sure everything's on camera. So from the, the Bala Django Trooper deck, you don't see the explosive turns that you do out of Django Veers, but you can see it's just kind of every turn, you know, three, four damage, three, four damage, yeah. three, four damage, very consistently. And he... Um, so I'm guessing that, that must have been an electroshock. Electroshock, yeah. Uh, oh, he chucks the mind probe. Very nice to end Django. He's gonna try to do something there, yeah. Because he he had a, he had well on the hunt fixed the doggy, but he had two field medics on Ray, and it was just kind of that consistent grinding of damage out of out of the. Did you, uh, did you not? Yeah, I guess you hadn't. Uh, even if you had rerolled, uh, mm -hmm. reacted with a uh, Django. Yeah, so you you have all the time in the world to do what you want this turn. And I, my characters are not that upgraded, so I'm not, I don't know if I'm eager to throw away every card, but certainly it's tempting to just chuck every card looking for damage. I'm surprised you didn't keep the plus one on the, on the hunt. Oh, he's got shields, so you might yeah. as well chase the... Uh, yes, I'm going to try to get rid of three shields. That's three damages over one. But then you get the plus one melee, of course. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> With no Django to... And then, of course, this is, I think, one of the great things I liked about Jen's Destiny. I was worried about it at the beginning, and then when I you know read the rules and saw some games and saw how that, you know, discard can be a factor to mitigate, you know, the, the randomness of the dice itself. Yeah. And that decks like this, Jangle Veers, other aggro decks can just funnel all their cards into doing this once they have a few upgrades on the table. That is a spectacular reveal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two blanks but a focus to deal with it. So yeah, I get oh, there you go. Yeah, I got the shields finally. Yeah. With all those rolls with the data pad, with the focus there's a good chance of you being able to hit that on the hunt. Yeah, and the data pad does, it's not, it's, I mean, semi non standard in this particular build. I like data pad a lot just um, from other decks that I may overvalue it. But here, it can get me to the, can help the consistency because it can get me to the Bala focus to get right. other dice to something right. big. Yeah, a lot of the times there's not a huge value that it can give you. Uh, it can't get you to. Yeah, there's no force throws. From character there's, dice. Yeah, that type of thing. But so that's five damage now on Poe. Uh, things are looking not great for Lanny. He's looking through some of his options here. He's, he wants to play an upgrade. He's going to decide not to. I'm kind of surprised. I think he just wants to get any damage he can. Well. It's not like he's going to kill them both. So, yeah, I agree. Probably an upgrade might have been a good idea if he had one. Okay. Yeah, he had the uh, the blaster rifle. Yeah. Okay. Because a lot of times the, you know, this deck has a lot of blue upgrades. He's got a, he had a holdout pistol as well. He's like got a black, not... He could have black one. No, no, no sense to black one. I mean, he might be thinking that he wants to right now. Yeah. I, I, he's he holding might... a dodge, so... No, he might be he might be thinking that he wants to use the throne room and play the black one. But yeah, that's true.
Whereas I don't I know that it's you would have been better off doing one something else. Um, getting some extra dice on Poe would be valuable not just this turn but in future turns. So Bala went and got the uh, the IQA, the, the one big gun in this deck. I, I usually often run a one of. Uh, I know a lot of people don't. It's very expensive. It's not redeployable, um, which in a three character list cuts its value quite a bit. I just like having that one late game thing to spend your money on. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I think maybe he should have gone with the IQA on his turn before he rolled in. Yeah, he could also be looking at his cards. I see he's got a dug in in hand and a dodge, so he could be thinking about using all his money for damage mitigation. I don't know if that's really getting him ahead though. Use, then just use the um, the just play the holdout blaster. Yes, yeah, yes, you could play the holdout blaster and still rolled in. So another dice in the Stormtrooper. I'm going to roll it in. But especially when you're on stream too, you know you can't give up. <laughs> and, so, and sometimes you never should in Destiny. Anyway, it's a dice game. Things can happen. But when you're in these situations, sure. you just start to like, okay, let's just roll and see. And kind of move forward. Uh, I think this might be fatal damage showing unless you can do something about it. So two from the uh, F11. Mm -hmm. And then I think he had... Or no, nope. he's I, up to seven. Sorry, I thought he had some. Oh, no, it'll be it's one off. I think because I know you, you, you go to the trooper to two, and then you got three on the guns. But then I'm one short. Uh, but I have two cards in hand. Maybe that's pretty easy to come yeah. up with one damage on rerolls. There we go. That's the plus two. Dodge. Yeah, no, he's okay. waiting on that. Yeah, okay. Let's see how good my memory is. Because I, I think he draws into one next turn, too. Yeah. I think this took a lot longer than I thought it would. I remember playing this game like, I got him. Nope. I got him. Nope. I feel like you want to... Uh... Take the battlefield here and not let him throw something at you. I agree. I, I think you're right. Again, that's what I should have done. I remember messing that up a few times in this game, not claiming the battlefield. Right. Right. Under, under, underestimating what he could do with just one dice in the battlefield. Because the focus doesn't do anything for me. The money doesn't really do anything for me. Yep, looks like you might have done that. Yeah. And then I remembered that you're not actually allowed to take your dice off, like I always try to do after you claim. Yeah. I guess he's, at this point, not, I've been burned by Poe specials enough. Yeah. Uh, Lanny's not going to be able to play all those cards. He probably should have tried re-rolling Poe. Mm. Mm hmm Like, if he rolls, re-rolls into the special, he can throw... At some, least once. I mean, he has ship. a black one and an IQA I can see keeping. Absolutely. But even the IQA is more of just Poe well, special fodder. Like, he's only, he's only going to really probably play the Holdout Blaster or the IQA. He's not going to play both. And he, mm. you see, he just... He discarded... At the end of the round, instead of doing it to re-roll. Right. Sorry, Lanny. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good roll. That is a really solid roll. There's no damage in other people. Jetpack comes out, so Bal is getting about his biggest... Oh. Oh. Remember uh, Rally, Lanny, I had him read this one. Yeah, so best defense uh, lets you remove two uh, dice from an opponent. And put three damage on a character. So you put three damage on the stormtrooper and remove both those excellent dice. Mm -hmm. And Lanny's just like, uh, okay. I remember his comment too, because people have come around, I think, on best defense, but it wasn't played very much at all. And he said, uh, after he read it, because he's very familiar with cards, he said, well, that's, that's a very good card nobody plays. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was probably the case here. It, it in this tournament and since this tournament, it, it's been a common sight. Mm -hmm. So you got some damage showing, some resources. Um, yeah, I, I think you'll probably be able to cobble it together enough here to take him out, and you're going to be able to reroll a few times. And so, yeah. 
The only thing that you may want to consider is splitting up your damage so you can't get yes, all can't get by dodge. One dodge. So I think I'm going to get yeah. nailed by a dodge here, I think. Yeah. I, well, I played one, and I'm used to my decks. It's one of these things where you get bias based on how you build things. I, I rarely ever put two dodges in. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, okay, hit one. Well, what could happen? He's got no blue character to deflect. Yeah. I mean, there's a ton of kind of Django decks, a ton of Ihani Ray. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, blaster damage is the majority of what you're going to be facing. Well, dodge is a great card. It's more just the cost. Like a lot, a lot of decks can't afford to even once, let alone twice. But, but no, obviously I should have thought of that. And you're right. I should have split up the damage. It would have, uh, you know, uh, it's not like it's, it's, I mean, it's unlikely to matter in the long run. Mm -hmm. It's a little hunkered down in the storm tree. Just, just in case. Never know with those post specials. So there's 10 damage sitting on Poe, only 2 health left. Um, no, there's 3 damage on the Stormtrooper and a shield on both Ballot and the Stormtrooper. So, looks like Shane draws up back up. Lanny adds a card. He's going to roll Poe. It's, like it's kind of crazy that Poe never ended up with a res uh, an upgrade all game. Wow, that's another very good roll. Four, four damage. Get up. <laughs> You're like, yeah, after you roll, I'll do damage to you. I've got my turn mapped out. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, four. Oh, that's a ton of damage. That's Goodbye. Six damage. It was Bye one black, though. It's always <laughs> one battle. That's all you need. But he didn't have a yeah. He didn't have any mitigation for the one. It's a good game. It's a poor. Uh... See, he did have a he did have a a mitigation right. But I think that use the force is you need a blue. He just has to just say spot a blue character. Yeah. I guess I I was pretty sure that's what it was, and then I don't know why I started questioning myself. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thanks for joining us, uh, and uh, we'll be back at you with another game soon.